What's up, we're Defabana and today we are at Rack Studios in St. John's Wood. We are covering a song for, well, we're calling a cover of a song for Amazon Music. And the song we're covering is Cher's If I Could Turn Back Time. Smash it. Smash it. Which came about because James and I wanted to cover a song from the 80s. We found this and thought it worked really well because this, the original's quite major and we could do something a bit interesting with it, turn it a bit miserable and synthy. On, uh, like, inspecting it a bit closer, lyrically, I mean, most of our songs deal with like regrets in the past and stuff. So it's ballpark. It's not a million miles away. Um, and yeah, share. Really and we also got to do loads of work at Hot Chip Studio with Joe and Al. And um, that was just incredible, really, to, to be able to go into a studio with so many different old vintage synthesizers and with those two guys who know exactly what they're doing with everything, with their drum machines. It was just incredible for me because I, I love all that sort of stuff. And yeah, we're working with Parallax Orchestra and Maddie, who we've worked with loads of times before to do the strings. Um, yeah, they're amazing. They always make anything we do or anything anyone does sound infinitely better. Obviously, we are sort of real musicians, but when you watch actual yeah. trained musicians work, it's... I, I always find something like that, whether it's like getting a choir or like a string section involved, is, is one of those like kind of pinch me moments that um, get a bit fewer and further between as you have a longer and longer career really. uh, but it's, it's yeah amazing every time you out the door, I swore that I didn't care but I lost everything then and there Ooh, too strong to tell you I was sorry all right maybe I'll just do that I'm just coming so on that. Proud to tell you I was wrong I know that I've mainly just listened to a lot of electronic music and I, I, I think you can do some really interesting things, especially once you start making things a bit more minor and a bit sadder um, with that sort of rhythm because it kind of wrong foots you um, in, into dancing along whilst, uh, not weeping, but close, edging, not like that. It would have been easy for us to do like, I don't know, Bruce Springsteen song or like a, a, just a song that would be more obvious for us. So we wanted to do something that was a bit, it was a bit more challenging. It made us think a bit differently about things and work in a slightly different way, which is quite exciting. I mean, yeah, we can't wait to share it with you. Oh. <laughs>